hey, quick tutorial on how you can import your ISAMS timetable to your Google Calendar. Uh, just follow these quick steps. We'll go to ISAMS first, and then what, what I'm going to do is from the wizard bar, if you don't see your wizard bar, it might be undocked, so go ahead and just dock your wizard bar. I'm going to go down to timetable manager, okay, and I'm going to go down to view teacher timetable. So go ahead and click on that, and then what you can do is search for your own name, select the teacher, go ahead and search for yourself. And then what this is the most important part, we're going to export this as an iCalc format. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. It should automatically select semester one 2022. So we're on that. And then from the bottom here, we're going to do next step. So go ahead and press on next step. It opens up this dialog box, and then you need to click on this in order to download your outcome, uh, your iCalc timetable. So that's going to download it. It's called Teacher One, whatever your download's called. Go over to new tab and we're going to go to our google calendar let's go to the settings up here okay go to the settings menu and then obviously click on settings and then go down to on the left hand side it says add calendar import and export your calendar so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and then i'm going to choose that file that i just downloaded so i'm going to choose it and i'm going to choose my my calc the teacher one whatever it is um, press and open and then select the calendar that you want to add it to okay so in this case i'm going to add it to my main calendar my core calendar i'm going to go ahead and import let it work it's magic it will do something in a bit and then it'll say hey it's imported 198 out of 264 events or something something like that and i'm pressing okay now when i come out of this come out of my settings and i open my calendar you can see that it's imported all of my is imported all of my um, events, all of the classroom events, okay, all of my lessons into my Google Calendar. Now, if you want time blocking, you find it more effective to have time blocking um, slots, then please follow the other tutorial. I'll show you how to do time blocking. Uh, it's more effective, I think, to use time blocking rather than events, but either or, you've got two options there. All right, thanks.